What is PAX without a game that has a line wait of about three hours? That's what it's all about. Look at these maniacs. It's crazy. I'm just saying, uh, yeah, it's worth it though. I got to play the game and the game is Elder Scrolls Online. skeptical about this because I'm a big Skyrim fan, everyone loves the world of Elder Scrolls, and in the end, I was like, if it's going to be an MMO, it's going to feel nerfed, like the graphics are going to be nerfed, and it's not. It looks just like Skyrim, it plays a lot like Skyrim. I always thought Skyrim felt like an MMO, so either Skyrim feels like an MMO, or the Elder Scrolls Online doesn't feel like an MMO. Point is, they both feel they both feel alike, and that's not a bad thing. I played the mage class, because if there's a mage class in a game like this, I'm gonna be the mage. The spells for the mage, completely different. So it's a new enough experience. I'm skeptical about the game in the sense that it's still gonna be $15 a month to play. And at this point, so many MMOs are free to play, I feel like that $15 a month fee is gonna go away. I just think that, time will tell. If, if the game really pulls it out, if this is the greatest MMO of the past decade, then hey, maybe they can keep it. But I'm just saying, as I stand right now, The Elder Scrolls Online, great game, can't wait to, pl wait to play it. If you're an Elder Scrolls fan, if you're a Skyrim fan, you're gonna end up playing the game. I played the demo, I played it for about a half an hour, and it went by like five minutes, so I'm just saying I'm gonna check it out. You'll get a review of that game from me. And another game I got to play at PAX Prime is Batman Arkham Origins. Again, looking forward to this game, but I was a bit I was a bit skeptical because I love Batman Arkham Asylum, I love Arkham City, and this is done by a different company, so I was like, all right, wh what's what's the what's the catch? You know, Kevin Conroy's not doing the voice of Batman, Mark Hamill's not doing the voice of Joker. Played about 15 minutes of the game, gotta say I jumped right into it. It's really familiar combat in a really good way, you know, all the tutorial lights are coming up like, ah, push R1 while you're flying. You know exactly what to do. If you're a fan of the other Arkham games, you can literally jump right into this game. Met the Joker in this game, you wouldn't know it's not Mark Hamill voicing the Joker. Like, it sounds just like Mark Hamill, which it doesn't have to sound like Mark Hamill, but it was really cool to not have that culture shock where you're like, this is clearly, it's not Mark Hamill at all. Another thing about the game that I'm not saying is concerning, but it is different, is when I was punching guys, it did sound a little different. Like instead, it didn't It didn't feel the same. It didn't feel like you were bruising their ribs. It felt like you were bruising their epidermis. I'm just saying the sound effect was a little different. So you're like, whoa. Well, at least it's a guy who does sound like Mark Hamill. Batman in this one, he does a good job there too. He's raspy and dark. He's not Conroy, but he is a good younger Batman. I'm looking forward to this game. I already pre-ordered it before today because it had a really sweet Joker statue that comes with it, but that's just my Joker fetish thing going on. But now I don't regret it. I'm like, okay, I have the Joker statue coming and, and a good game. So Arkham Origins, looking forward to that too. What can I say? I love PAX. This is why, because now I, I know that I'm not just getting a Joker statue. I'm getting the experience.